hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to continue our lesson on binary operations in this video we are going to discuss the inverse element now the element a inverse which is a member of r is said to be the inverse element of a which is also a member of r under the operation star with identity element e if a star a inverse is equal to a inverse star a is equal to the identity element so under this what we are saying is if an element a is combined with its inverse then it's equal to the identity element in the previous video we established the fact that under addition the identity element e is equal to zero so that a plus zero is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a now when you combine a and 0 under addition the result does not change so it follows that the identity element e under addition is equal to 0 now let's do for multiplication the identity element e under multiplication is equal to 1 because a times 1 is equal to 1 times a which is equal to a so when you combine a and then 1 under multiplication the result does not change the result is still a so now let's move on to the inverse element under addition using this same binary operation we know that a star a inverse is equal to a inverse star a is equal to the identity element now under addition the identity element is zero so we have e equals zero so a plus a inverse is equal to a inverse plus a which is equal to the identity element which is zero so we have a inverse plus a equals zero now because we want to find a inverse we are going to transpose a to the right hand side so a inverse is equal to negative a so it follows that the inverse element under addition is equal to negative a so that a plus negative a is equal to the identity element zero now let's do same for multiplication so for multiplication we know that the identity element is one so e is equal to one so using this same binary operation a star a inverse is equal to a inverse star a is equal to identity element which is 1 so we say that a times a inverse is equal to 1 now because we want to find a inverse we are going to divide through by a so that a inverse is equal to 1 over a so under multiplication the inverse element a inverse is equal to 1 over a so that a times 1 over a is equal to 1 so now let's move on and solve some questions regarding the inverse element of a binary operation so for the first question the binary operation star is defined over the set r of real numbers by a star b equals a plus b plus 2ab where a and b are all members of r now we are going to find i the inverse and the star of the general element e which is a member of r i i we are going to state which element has no inverse and then i i i we are going to determine the inverse of two and three so to find the inverse and the star of a general element e first of all we need to find the identity element now for identity element we said that a star e 
is equal to e star a which is equal to a so using this binary operation we are going to find the identity element so a star e this time our b is e is going to be a plus e plus 2a e equals a so we have a plus e plus 2a e equals a now because we have a on both sides of the equation we can cancel out a so that we are left with e plus 2a e equals 0 we can factor out e so that we have 1 plus 2a inside the bracket equals 0 because we want to find e we divide through by 1 plus 2a and then we have e to be equal to 0 over 1 plus 2a which is equal to 0 hence the identity element e under star is equal to 0 now we are interested in finding the inverse element so for the inverse we say that a star a inverse is equal to a inverse star a is equal to the identity element which is e so we say that using this binary operation we have a star a inverse is equal to a plus a inverse plus 2a times a inverse which is equal to 0 because we had e to be 0. a inverse plus 2a times a inverse equals negative a. So we are going to factor out a inverse so that we have 1 plus 2a equals negative a. We are going to divide through by 1 plus 2a and then we have a inverse to be equal to negative a over 1 plus 2a. So this is the inverse under star of a general element a which is a member of r. Now let's solve for ii. We are going to state which element has no inverse. So we had a the inverse or the inverse element to be equal to negative a over 1 plus 2a. Now we are going to state which element has no inverse. Now to find the element which has no inverse, we need to equate the denominator of the inverse expression to 0. So we are going to find the value of a that will make the denominator go to 0. In that case, that value of a has no inverse. So we have 1 plus 2a equals 0 so we transpose 1 to the right hand side so we have 2a equals negative 1 we divide through by 2 and then we have the value of a to be negative 1 over 2 so the element which has no inverse is a equals negative 1 over 2 and actually this makes sense because if you put in the value a equals negative 1 over 2 into this expression you are going to get the denominator to be 0 which makes this expression undefined now let's solve for i i i we are going to determine the inverse of 2 and 3 So the inverse of 2 means that we are going to substitute 2 in place of a in this expression. So that's going to be negative 2 over 1 plus 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So the inverse of 2 is negative 2 over 5. Now let's solve the inverse of 3. So for that one also, we have negative 3 over 1 plus 2 times 3. 
2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So the inverse of 3 is equal to negative 3 over 7. So let's solve the second question. So for the second question, a binary operation delta is defined on the set of R of real numbers by P delta Q equals P plus Q minus square root of 2, where P and Q are all members of R. Now we are going to find the inverse of P and the inverse of 2 root 2. So to solve this problem, first of all, we need to find the identity element. So we say that P delta E is equal to E delta P, which is equal to P. So using the same operation, P delta E, so what we are doing is we are going to replace Q with E. So P delta E is equal to P plus E minus square root of 2 equals P. Now because we have P on both sides of the equation, we cancel out P and then we are left with E minus root 2 equals 0. So the identity element E is equal to the square root of 2. Now let's find the inverse. So for the inverse, we say that P delta P inverse is equal to P inverse delta P, which is equal to the identity element. So P delta inverse of P is equal to, using this operation, we have P plus P inverse minus the square root of 2 equals the identity element. Now because we want to find P inverse, we are going to transpose P and the negative root 2 to the right hand side. So that's going to be P inverse is equal to root 2 plus root 2 minus p so that is p inverse is equal to 2 root 2 minus p so this is p inverse now for ii we are going to find the inverse of 2 root 2 so basically using this same expression we are going to substitute 2 root 2 in place of p so the inverse of 2 root 2 is equal to we are using this same expression 2 root 2 minus p and then p is 2 root 2 so minus 2 root 2 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 is 0 so it means that the inverse of 2 root 2 is equal to 0 so that's it for today's video Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.